Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching How to Get Away with Murder, Season 6, Episode 6, Family Sucks. I am so excited for this episode. This season has been fantastic, and I've been out all day, so I'm only just getting to watch the episode now, but I'm so ready for this episode. Let's go. I do feel like this isn't going to stay happy for long. Gabriel, what are you up to? Are you being an informant? He's to the obvious choice. What is this? You two are so close, you, have, you didn't have the balls to come and talk to me alone. I told you she would think that. I just mm -hmm. want to do whatever that I will die without ever getting to know you, Michaela. Then why did it take Michaela making the first move? I want to be in your life. He's far. I don't trust him. He writes you a blank check too? What? Yes. It is I a lot you, too I late. I myself for even letting that happen to you. Well, I hate you too. Michaela is entitled to feel however she wants to feel. But mostly you. <laughs> Which is a big step for Michaela, let's face it. Just South America. He's the one that needs to disappear. <laughs> Connor's so desperate to disappear. Figure out why you always pick me. Man, you really are. Oh, Connor. Call me Florence Knight and Glue. That's not. Oliver still have a job? I really want to sponge bath. <laughs> First, let's see how you do fluff in my pillow. Oh, clean. Call a taxi. Well, you can't drive without a license. Go on. How on earth has this come to be? Did she just approach her in the car park and say, want training? That's worse, almost. Okay, not worse, but almost as bad. You quit us. Oh god, is <laughs> everyone in the show dated? You're this creepy when Connor's asleep. <laughs> I feel like Connor told you this was your fault. No. Annalise did. Yeah. And I don't think Connor exactly told you this was your fault. He was just upset that you didn't tell him. Annalise told you it was your fault. That was bad writing. Oliver, out. <laughs> said I couldn't. Who are you gonna listen to, me or Bonnie? <laughs> as long as someone's watching him. Is that what you want? There are so many lies in this show, I love it. And I hate it, because they're all gonna crumble. Don't worry about it. I got it. Does she got it, or is she just gonna run away? <laughs> Which I don't blame her, to be honest. These two. Of what a father should be, and still he chose himself over me. It's true, which does make it worse in a lot of ways. Oh, I don't trust him. He's very ominous. Might have a new client for you. To be honest, as long as like Connor's okay, I'm quite happy for Annalise to fake her own death and escape. I haven't decided yet. Nate, this is creepy, and I don't like it. Secrets about my ex. She's on to him. I like it. Get your shady ass the hell out of my car. <laughs> See, Bonnie, this is why you have to make career decisions for yourself. Stop doing it for other people. It can make life easier. Not always. Well, I'll take my chances. Money always makes life easier. It just doesn't necessarily make you happy. Their lives as easily, oh, how do you know how easy it is? How long she's been thinking about it? I see how much I regret that. Not really, because Michaela had to come and knock on your door or break into your room. Connor is actually Emmett's secret love child with Tegan. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why Annalise for the K5. Don't you know, tease him. Buy that. <laughs> Disappointment of her life. Yeah, that's true. You hate me. No. Well, you've not been exactly no, nice no. since you've turned really? up. I like your hair. <laughs> you didn't find that out with all your stalking. Hmm. Or he teach you how to lie this good. Nate, you're like the only person on the planet that thinks Deacon's involved. And she's actually had the nerve to come and face you. Like, Nate, run with Nate as he gets determined and just goes for it. Okay, don't let go. Okay? Oh. <laughs> come on, <laughs> Hmm. She needs him. That's not actual love. Ouch. She needs him because she loves him. I mean, it's otherwise true. His mum should never have done what she did to him. Our family, us. Yeah. Us. We oh. I'm stealing your husband. Well, then you better grow a penis. That was worse. She got fired. Was ready to go, but not until you tell me why you chose me for the K five. Oh, Connor, it's gonna be something really, really pathetic. I mean, he's trying to. He's just not sorry enough for doing a very good job of this. Romantically? Yes. Oh yes, Michaela. Stop. <laughs> Why does it matter if he's Annalise's ex? Because she likes oh Annalise. Stay the hell out of my life. But yeah, you actually have no need coming over right now. Like, you, you're out of her life. We're still in a fight. Yeah, so take your little hurt feelings and. Asha, this isn't. Battle. Michaela can fight her own battles all the time. She doesn't need you to do it. You by my side. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, in the long scheme of things, what he did wasn't that bad, given all the stuff they've done to each other. Oliver's not here. Hmm. Came to talk to you. Oh, about why he was chosen. How could I not care? Everyone else has been sort of significant or terrible. Getting a gay conversion camp shut down when you were an undergrad. 
Do you honestly expect me to believe that? I mean, it's pretty I'm cool. It's pretty inspirational. Connor, you stood up for those kids when no one else would. I hope this is true. I'm sorry that happened to you. It was a long time ago. Oh, that's just so, so sweet. It would explain why I'm this way. Oh, Connor. You're not a bad guy. You're Connor. not. You're such a good person. I'm just tired. Oh, Connor. He just deserves the world. Nothing good comes from hating yourself. This is such a beautiful conversation. And I love you. You deserve a lot more good than what you've had. She does. She's also murdered many people, but she does. That was really emotional. I'm very stressed about this restraining order. They asked him to investigate ways to flee the country. That She's being honest. Surely she can claim she didn't know he was doing anything illegal. How good a lawyer are you? I'm the most powerful I've ever been. And here I am considering disappearing because I'm afraid for my life. That's the reason why we're here. Not to make up stories about me being a- I mean, if he's not doing anything illegal, then- they kill me. A restraining order's not gonna hurt anyone. It's your choice. Of his power, especially. Good. I mean, something's gonna get terribly wrong. Just do it. Oh gosh. Finally let go of all that hate inside of you. Look in the mirror. God. What has God done for you? Turning Asher to our family. You kicked him out of the family. Be forgiven for his sins. Oh, for God's sake! I would walk out. I would Amen. walk out Asher right now. It doesn't matter. Yes. Forgive you. He doesn't forgive you. Be the one forgiving you. You kicked me out of the family. Very true. To heaven is to beg forgiveness for your sins. <laughs> Okay, don't break things, just leave. Just walk out. She doesn't deserve you. You're the one going to hell, not me. I mean, you may see each other there because you've murdered people. A civil suit is how we do that. Flush him out. I would be scared about who was at the door. What's this? Did it work? She got what she wanted. She she could actually use these. Oh, yep. You've not been there for her for how many years? And I'll know that I got there on my own. And you'll be really sorry. He's just handled this very wrong. All of his attitude has so not been right. For abandoning me. Good choice. I mean, I also might have just kept it somewhere for rainy days, but... God, I keep being so stressed. Emily sucks. Hmm. Please destroy your phone. I want to be there for you for the rest Please of don't life. do romance here. Okay, guys. Michaela, you cheated on him. Don't cheat on Gabriel. Give him a hug. You're technically still with Gabriel Michaela, this is not a good move. I mean, I know there's a lot of old feelings here. Maybe I don't make any choices right now. Maybe I, like, take some time, break up with Gabriel first. No, I'm not ready. Bonnie's alive. What are you doing here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So Asha hasn't been arrested. Yet. Did he do the murdering? Oh my god. Did he do the murdering? He was there, at least. Is he gonna get arrested later and join the others? I'm actually not sure how much more of this I can take. <laughs> okay, so I love this show. I'm not sure actually. I don't feel like I reacted very much in that episode. So sorry if it was quite short or something. I'm really tired after today. Um, but that was a brilliant episode. Um, again, it's probably not my favourite one of the season, but I really enjoyed the things we learned and the twists and the turns. I think it was important for Asher to try with his family, but I mean, like he said, they were in the wrong. He didn't do anything wrong in what happened with his father. He wasn't to blame. I mean, he kind of was with the stuff with, you know, the DA that was doing it, but his dad had done the things. The reason his dad killed himself was because he was guilty of what they accused him of, of the corruption. So, I mean, obviously his dad shouldn't have killed himself, and that is very sad, but Azure wasn't to blame. And the way he was treated by his family, I mean, even when his mum kicked him out, his sister could have come over, his sister could have still been there for him, and even kept from the mother that he was, she was there for him, but she didn't. They just needed him now, so they brought him back in. And his mum was saying, oh, we oh, can forgive you now. I mean, I think he made completely the right choice. Maybe he shouldn't have smashed the plate, but I get that he was just very angry, and he just didn't run him over with his car. So yeah, that was a lot. Um, for Asher to deal with and then I mean he's very much still into Michaela and I, I like them together I don't even I, I that's not a problem for me the problem is the cheaty angle especially when he was cheated on by Michaela, Michaela cheated on him and now he's kind of being the guy that she cheated on Gabriel with I know she was having a fight with Gabriel but the way that he was flirting with her they were very much not over so I'm not a huge fan of that development at all really um, and it's kind of soured my desire for them to become a couple in the future 
um, all for happy with Gabriel in a way. I thought maybe none of these relationships should be the end game and they should all just move on and find later pe people later in life or in prison should it go that way. Um, it's very interesting. I think the um, restraining order is an interesting angle on it. I mean, they've now got a record of feeling threatened by the Castillos, which is good, but at the same time the Castillos, ugh, they poke the bear like they were saying and that's very stressful. Also having to destroy their phones, I hope Asher's going to have to destroy his phone, but what recordings have they got of them maybe? I mean they've got Wes's confession, though I suppose they can claim that was faked now that they've got this proof that they are in fear for their lives or whatever, but yeah, it, it, there's like everything is building up and you know these flash forwards, I just need to know who's dead, I need to know what happened and every season it's the same, but I, like, I can't take this for much longer, <laughs> I've got episodes of it left. Um, I feel like, sorry, my brain is all over the place. And then I think Michaela has made the right choice with her father. I mean, he made no effort to be in her life whatsoever at any point. You know, when she was a little kid, he could have been there for her. If he was keeping, he could have kept tabs on her, seen when she was going into the foster care system, and even just adopted her and raised her. You know, been like, oh, I'm being a philanthropist, I'm going to adopt this child, and pretended that he was, you know, made the media think she was his adopted child etc you know like there were so many ways he could have been there for her and then ever since he's been in her life his attitude to everything has been very strange very intense but also not very sorry very kind of like well, i did nothing wrong and i can fix it all now you know it doesn't work that way so i think in the long run she has made the right choice i don't know that he's going to take it so easily he's not a man that seems to be used to hearing the word no he seems to be someone that thinks he can just get whatever he wants and be okay with it so i don't know that we've seen the last of him and i feel like he could maybe have some dangerous ripples going forwards um and i imagine he'd try and protect michaela but the rest of them could be fair game um also this episode it was really good to see connor finally finding out why he was chosen for the keating vibe and in a way i think it's better to find out you were chosen i mean i know laurel had um the castillo connection and that probably annalise was okay with bringing her in because of all of that but she was frank's pick and that he was bonnie's pick because he'd closed a conversion therapy camp and like Connor, even in season one, when Connor acted all hard and cold and like nothing bothered him, you know, deep down underneath, he still had his heart of gold. And I love Connor so much. And I think for me, Connor is so convinced he's a bad person. That just shows he's a good person. And I love him so much. And I'm really stressed for him. Like, I just, anytime Connor is existing on screen, I'm very happy. I'm very stressed. I'm very emotional. <laughs> and that scene with him and Bonnie. I mean, Bonnie is a character that I have very mixed feelings towards because she has committed murder twice. And with Rebecca, to this day, she's remorseless about it, you know. And it was quite unnecessary i think rebecca was quite entangled in the murder plot but i don't know that she could have just gone and rushed them out or anything or if they she did whose word would they take you know so kind of it was very unnecessary i thought when she killed rebecca and like she wasn't sorry about it in the slightest at least with miller she's sorry about it but that's just because she loved him so that's always been a red flag i've struggled to connect with bonnie because of how she killed rebecca and how when she was confronted about it she was like yeah i did it for you it's cool thank me you know i i didn't love that but then I also think there's a lot of Bonnie's character that I do feel a lot for and I think I would be okay if she got a happy ending out of it all but yeah that scene with her and Connor was just really emotional really beautiful and you know Connor was chosen for having been a good person and I think oh hopefully that's gonna help him feel better about himself but I'm still very stressed about things moving forwards and I didn't enjoy that scene um where Frank was like oh did Connor tell you it was your fault and he was like yeah well, Annalise told you it was your fault. Connor didn't disagree with her but Connor was upset that you kept a secret from him you know anything Connor said came out of that upset that he'd been keeping secrets. I'm trying to pin it as though Connor's been a bad guy in this situation I'm not a fan of. Um, I need to see some scenes to show that Colliver are in a good place because I'm stressed. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very stressed that Oliver could be the one that's dead. I hope he's not, but you never know. I mean, Connor's reaction was quite extreme. So yeah, uh, I'm very stressed. I still feel like the FBI is circling and we don't know when they're going to pounce. Obviously someone else is going to die at graduation and or on the day of the graduation and Asher, it appears that Michaela and Connor have been arrested and Asher's going to Bonnie's and we don't know the timeline of the night so Asher could have been arrested later or it could have been that for some reason they arrested Michaela and Oliver, Michaela and Oliver, Michaela and Connor um, and Asher was involved but I mean just we need to know, I'm like it's actually killing me not knowing what happened and part of me is wishing I'd waited and just binged all of it once we had the flash forwards being resolved and everything but at the same time I couldn't wait to watch this show. Oh, I feel like I've missed things but honestly I'm, so, I'm so wiped out today but I couldn't wait any longer to watch How to Get Away with Murder and I'm glad Connor finally has his answers um, and the flash forwards are killing me. I had blood on him now that makes me feel like maybe he's unlikely to have been the one that did it but that maybe he was stood nearby and got blood on him somehow. Um, everything is bloody stressful and Annalise oh yeah Annalise got her passport so maybe she is gonna fake her death I mean her being dead at the beginning seemed unlikely and I've been saying from the beginning that I feel like she's probably gonna fake her death but the fact that we're seeing her having the tools to fake her death 
death. And I like that, you know, it was set on the stand, but she's already done it. You know, I feel like there's so much happening there that maybe she is going to fake her death um, and escape and get okay. And you know what? I'd be okay if she did. Um, so yeah, that was very stressful. This show is just brilliant. And this final season is really being had to get with murder at its finest. You know, not every episode is perfect, but it's just the whole season is ramping up and it's very stressful. Also Tegan, oh my God, what well, I forgot. I liked that um, her ex wasn't, fooled by Nate um and that she kind of stood up for Tegan but she also needs to be like if you're telling her you don't miss her you don't really then Tegan has every right to say well you're not in my life anymore respect that um and I hope that her that her plan is going to work and that she, Nate's going to trust her because I think we can trust Tegan and oh goodness everything is a lot and I feel like there's we're rapidly approaching the mid-season finale but then we're rapidly approaching the end of the show but I don't know how much everything's going to get resolved and I'm very stressed but I love this show thank you for watching